Mihei from Korea now with the weekly K Buzz. Today we're preparing to say goodbye to a K pop girl group after their final concert. Eyes One, a project K pop group formed through Mnet's audition program Produce 48, held their online concert Won the Story last week. It was an especially emotional night for both Eyes One and their fandom Wiz One since it may have been the last time the fans could see them perform as a group. Earlier this month, Mnet officially announced that Eyes One will disband in April with the expiration of their contract. So it's natural that the concert was filled with tears and heartfelt messages from the members. Under the theme of One The Story, the concert featured seven different chapters as the performances unfolded. They opened the stage with their debut single La Vie en Rose and continued on with other hit title tracks such as Violetta and Secret Story of the Swan. They even showcased their unreleased songs Lesson and Parallel Universe for the first time. While expressing their gratitude towards their fans who continued to support them during the two and a half years, the members couldn't hold back their tears and shared that they were happy every day thanks to Wiz One. In return, the fans wrapped up the final three hour long concert with videos of them singing Slow Journey for the members. Not much has been revealed about the future plans of the members, but on March 11th, one local media reportedly shared that Sakura will be joining Big Hit Entertainment after the disbandment. In response, Big Hit commented, nothing has been decided regarding the matter. Although many fans were shattered about bidding farewell to Eyes One, they are also rooting for their new beginning no matter which path each member decides to take. Now let's talk about a recent controversy over the K-drama Vincenzo. In the latest episode of Vincenzo, a black comedy series revolving around a Korean-Italian mafia lawyer, the main leads Song Joong-gi and Jeon Yeo-bin were seen eating instant bibimbap cups together. But as the camera zoomed in, it showed the brand of the product which turned out to be a Chinese company, Zhaigua. This product placement backfired with many viewers slamming the network for featuring the Chinese appropriation of bibimbap, a popular Korean rice dish. Such criticism comes in light of the recent cultural feud over kimchi and hanbok between Korea and China. So netizens immediately commented, now China is going to argue that bibimbap is a Chinese dish, and were concerned it could lead international viewers to believe bibimbap is a Chinese food. One history professor also stepped forward saying, it's a shame they allowed such product placement in a time when China is laying claims to Korean traditions. On the other hand, some defended the network for its effort to cover the big budget production. This is not the first time a K-drama has faced criticism for placing Chinese products into the production. Right before this, True Beauty also came under fire for excessive advertising of Chinese brands. But the controversy this time was different from simply criticizing the Chinese product placements. It was linked to a broader cultural clash. Following the backlash, TVN and Vincenzo's production team have reportedly contacted Zhaigua to discuss a potential cancellation of the contract, so the Chinese bibimbap product may be gone in the remaining episodes. What do you guys think about this issue? Did you notice the bibimbap if you're watching Vincenzo? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to Korea Now for more weekly updates and I'll see you all next time. Bye!